Hello and welcome to my first declutter in my 12 days of declutters. Whether this is actually going to go up in the month of December or not, I cannot promise, but I am doing them regardless. And when they go up, um, you guys will see them. <laughs> Logical. Simple as that. As you can see, we have all of my complexion products, meaning like foundation type products in front of me. I don't believe I have any more. I've scoured my makeup bags and drawers. And because I did already uh, at least one, if not two foundation declutters in the past, I can link those. It looks like this is what I currently have, but I still wanted to go through my entire makeup collection. This way I get to show you guys what I have and kind of start fresh for the year 2024 and basically see if even if I get rid of just one or two things in every category or even if I don't get rid of any I'm still uh, wanting to look through maybe pick out some things for my future basket of dooms and just remind myself of some products that maybe I need to be dipping into I've blabbered as always enough let's get started Started with this Sephora Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. This is one I really enjoy, especially in the summer, because while it does say it's glowing, it's interesting because I never thought I have like super duper incredibly dry skin. I mean, I knew I have dry skin. So I guess, yeah, I should start with that. Any opinions here are from perspective of somebody that has dry skin. I'm starting to think that I have dry and dehydrated skin lately. In the summer, it even gets occasionally oily in certain parts of my face so I guess it would almost be like combo dehydrated because every foundation that other people think is super duper glowy and just impossible I tend to like and anything that people say is just has that nice healthy glow just enough but not too much I just find that it's more of like a natural finish on me borderline not glowy and this is one of those products I really enjoy it but I don't find it overly glowy on me I just find it skin like and natural and I will keep it because I do reach for this once in a while maybe not as often as I should but for one face even this I think is way too many foundations maybe not a lot for YouTube but we're gonna keep this one this is one of my favorites this is the wet n wild tinted hydrator this is just such an easy product and this is something that I find is definitely hydrating maybe maybe that's what it is maybe the other foundations that people think are glowy on them I just don't think of that way because I I don't find them hydrating enough. I do definitely find this hydrating enough. It has hyaluronic acid, it has squalene, both ingredients that my skin loves. It is a sheer to medium coverage. I would say that is very true. You could sheer it out if you use a sponge that is a bit more damp, or you could definitely build this up. For me, this is perfect because I do not like heavy coverage and full coverage. And this is probably my most used product. This is probably the emptiest and the one that's going to finish first. It is almost done and depending on you know where I am at that point with the amount of foundations I have I definitely do think I will be repurchasing this at some point this is a product that I am thinking is gonna go into my next basket of doom and then after that it's probably gonna get decluttered whether I like it or not because it does have the SPF 50 and in preparing for this video I looked up the expiration date and it seems to be uh, January 20 of 24. So basically in less than two months, this product is going to expire. As it is, I was torn about it, which is why I said it's it's one of those I was considering putting into my basket of doom because it's again one of those products that people think is great and hydrating and all of that. And you know, it even says that it's like intensive repair. It's a BB cream. It's supposed to have brightening properties. It's supposed to give you bright, radiant skin. I found it to be be a nice natural finish. I didn't find anything overly radiant with this one. I didn't use it consistently enough to see if there are in fact any wrinkle improvements and brightening effects. If this has a lot of skincare in it, something you would have to use on the daily basis to see any of that. I did not do that. I've used this product maybe 10 to 12 times total and I've had it for uh, I'm sure a couple of years, probably a year or two. I think this is going to go into my December, January baskets of doom and I can come 
come back and give you guys a little bit more thoughts on it but regardless it will get decluttered at the end of january so for now we're gonna leave it but we're actually going to put the maybes or the ones that are going on the chopping block right here off to the side this is another one i'm not sure of i haven't used it enough to really give it a fair chance and have a comprehensive review on this this is the huda beauty glowish multi-do skin tint i remember some people really loving this and some people really disliking this this is one of those products that was kind of either one you loved or one you hated i know i did a video with this but it was a first impression and at the time if i remember correctly i liked it but you know it was impossible to really know all that much from just one use i think i've tried it maybe two or three times since but again i just don't feel like that's enough to have a proper opinion on this so i think this needs to go into a basket of doom in the future so we're going to put that right there all right i have this hourglass mini this used to be a foundation i really liked mostly for the ease i really want to find a stick foundation that i enjoy and remember to use it because i think it's super easy especially for travel there's a fenty one that i've heard a few people talk about positively maybe at some point i'll try this one i think the thing with this one was it's a wrong shade and i kept thinking i'm gonna make it work just because i kept wanting to use this little bit of product up but i haven't touched it since my last declutter you guys can see this shade is totally off for me this would take a lot of work for me to figure out how to use it and the whole point of a stick foundation for me personally is the ease of it and this does not scream easy so i think this is finally going to go this is the wet n wild photo focus foundation this is in porcelain fair which should be my shade this was a sample it even says not for resale i've never tried this foundation and i just forget that i have this because it's such a teeny tiny size i don't know i really don't know like oh it is okay it is separating so it needs a good shake or maybe it just needs to be thrown out let's see if that helped yeah all right I don't even know. I don't even know if this is worth it. I mean, I could make that shade work. It's a little bit lighter than I am, which is actually rare. This is now so disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go wash my hands after this. I have a feeling I'm just not. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna use it. That's gonna go. Okay, up next is this Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator because clearly anything shorter of a name would not be enough. This is in 20 Fair. That's my shade. It's a pretty good shade match for me. I can make it work almost all year round and i really really like this product i also like the fact that it actually doesn't have spf in it because then i don't have to worry about it expiring like with you know products such as this myzon um snail repair bb cream I'm definitely keeping this i've used this on stage multiple times i've traveled with this it's a very easy product for me so definitely keeping it in fact at the time i'm filming this i am about to take a trip this weekend to Vegas for the creators and friends holiday party and I mean I haven't decided which foundation I'm going to take with me. I might even just bring samples to be honest because I'm trying to pack super light so that I don't have to pay for the extra luggage but if I end up bringing a full size I think it's going to be this. Uh, okay this one. This one I'm so torn on because I really liked this product the couple of times I've used it but even though this is one and two which sounds like a pretty light shade like i would imagine you know it's like a neutral two i mean unless they have like a zero something which i need to look into this is too dark for me and i am so bummed i can maybe make this work like in the two weeks of the summer when i am at my most tan but other than that i would have to mix it with something and honestly it's very rare nowadays that i do that i used to i used to do all sorts of combos and concoctions but nowadays i'm just too busy and cannot be bothered with all that it really would pain me to get rid of it because i've used it so few times and i really enjoy this product i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this in my declutter pile i'm going to look at their shade range and if they have a lighter shade that i think is going to work better for me i'm gonna watch out for a future sale because i've seen this go on sale multiple times in the past and maybe snag a different shade this one this one hurts this 
one really hurts, I'll be honest. Okay, this is another one I am kind of torn on. This is the Herborean CC Cream, the High Definition Radiance Face Cream. First of all, there's the shade range to this. There is no shade range. I, I don't even know if they make anything other than this Claire, which I think means light. You know, it's a Korean skincare product. Uh, there is no shade range. And it comes out as like this gray cream. And then as you rub it into your skin, it changes color to kind of match your skin, so to speak. I used this for the first time just a month or two ago, and I have used it a few times since. I still don't quite know how I feel about it. On the one hand, the ease of use for the days when I have absolutely no time to even pull out a beauty blender or a brush or whatever could be a plus for this product, could work in its favor, because I can just apply this with my hands. And I did do that the very first time I opened this and used it. I'm just not sure I'm loving completely how it sits on my skin. So I think I need to test this out a few more times before deciding. So for now, I'm going to keep it. I already have two products in my basket of doom, and I think I'm just going to leave this in my regular collection and just pull for it once in a while. That will be that. All right, let's uh, get rid of one that I really liked in the past. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation with SPF 20, the Brightening Complex. This is a very old foundation. This is one that I think I've had in a project pan before, but I never ended up panning it completely. This was, I think, considered like a dupe for a very high-end one back in the day. Maybe could it have been like a dupe for the Tom Ford? I could be completely wrong, but I remember back in the day, many years ago, like maybe 2018, 2017, 2018 era, this used to get compared to some super high-end foundation and they were like a ton of uh, dupe videos. I am an L W2. This shade always worked pretty decent for me. If I remember correctly, is this a doe foot? Yes, this is a doe foot. And it's A, starting to smell like paint. B, I'm sure the SPF expired. I mean, I'm even afraid to know when. And I keep wanting to use it up because that's the person that I am. But let's face it, this is probably not even healthy to put on my face anymore, even though it's called the healthy foundation. I think at this point, it's the very unhealthy foundation. So it's gotta go. Another one that probably should go, again, it has SPF 25, which I'm sure by now is null and void, and that's fine. I, I can always wear SPF underneath, is the L'Oreal Infallible. I really like this foundation. What I really don't like about it is the scent. This is in 410 Ivory. I've used it a couple of times, even this past summer, and really enjoyed it. I don't know what to do about this. Yeah, it definitely SPF expired. It actually expired like two years ago. Maybe what I should do at this point is get rid of this one, go through some of the other foundations that I have, and if I miss it in the future, repurchase it. Something tells me there's probably going to be new newer and bigger and better and I'm not going to need to repurchase it but you never know I might miss this enough where I'm going to want to repurchase it for me I feel like this is a really good a summer foundation because in the winter I find that it is a little too full coverage and a little too drying for me so especially considering we're going into the severe winter months today was freezing here in New York City I have a feeling I'm not going to want to reach for this until like spring or summer again and by then it's going to be too two and a half years expired and nobody needs that. So we're gonna let it go. The NARS. This is the light reflecting foundation. This is another one of those foundations that everybody was saying looks oh so glowy on them and honestly on me it just looks borderline natural finish. Definitely I don't find it very glowy but I like it. I do like it. I would like to try it maybe mixing with some things, maybe um, mixing some glowy or products into it, like liquid highlighters or something like that, or even something like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, this Hollywood thing that, it, you know, everybody loved for like years and years. And I only got it, I think, last year and barely use it. I always forget about it. In fact, I had it here on my desk because I wasn't sure whether I should put it with my foundations or like my liquid highlighters later. Decided 
decided to go with liquid highlighters but yeah i probably should experiment with this foundation a little bit more i love nars packaging nars aesthetic this was the first super high-end foundation truly i feel like i ever bought for myself and i don't even think it was like on super sale i may have bought it full price so for me that was a big deal now here's what really annoys me this this cap situation really annoys me because it does not close so if i have this standing in my drawer and i accidentally grab it just by the cap the product doesn't come with it i know it's a small thing i know it's not a big deal and i know technically i could probably just take this cap off and throw it in the trash and just keep the bottle because at the end of the day that's what i use anyways but it's it's like a principal thing i mean it's a 40 something dollar foundation why can we not make a cap that actually fits the bottle i don't think that's too much to ask so i i, I am annoyed I am annoyed with that, as silly as it is. Oh, and by the way, I bought for myself L4 Duoville. Duoville. And overall, it's a decent shade, if I remember correctly. It is slightly dark for me, so more of a summer color. But either way, I'm definitely keeping that and continuing to use it because I paid a pretty penny for it. And it's a nice foundation. This one. This one was in my basket of doom from several months ago because I stopped filming for a while. And I have used it a few times and I have to say I don't hate it. Now, do I love it enough to reach for it very often with this weird bulky packaging? I mean, I tried actually doing what you're supposed to, just pumping it out and like it squeezes on here and then you take your sponge and you know, it's like a little tray thing. Kind of annoys me because then I got to clean all of this. I can't say I'm a huge fan of this. What I do like is this open and close feature where like you lock this so it can't spill out so if you're traveling with it or whatnot i bought this at like a tj maxx or marshall's once beauty blender was starting to clear out inventory of this product because i can't remember if they discontinued this or what the deal was but i remember it was on sale like everywhere for a while this is 1.3 w it's a pretty good shade match for me and i think i'm gonna keep it i think i'm gonna keep it one more round and i think maybe it's gonna go into a future basket of doom sometime next year we're going to start with these two and figure out what to do with those and then uh, most likely these two products are going to be next on the so-called chopping block and then we're going to have these in my full rotation as of right now as far as the full size foundations with the exception of these two little minis i am going to keep these nine five of which are definite keeps four of which are future basket of doom contenders and i am getting rid of these three full-size ones and two minis i think that's pretty good i'm excited about that i think that's gonna clear out a little bit of space in my crammed storage space and also clear out a little bit of space in my mind so that i can reach for these products more often and actually get some use out of them and before we finish up with the foundations, I actually wanted to go through my samples because that's the other thing I really want to focus on this upcoming year is either finally trying all my little samples that are lying around or just getting rid of them. So we're going to see what I currently have and what I'm still interested in actually trying and what I'm going to trash. So stay right where you are. I'll be right back. This is what we have for foundation type samples. Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I've never tried this. I would be curious to try it. I have two neutral to work with. It looks like it's the second shade, so that could maybe work looks like it's a teeny tiny amount of product so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to actually do my whole face with this but i'll keep it and try it the one time and see how i like it by the way if you guys would like me to do a video i can't remember i may have done it once on my channel but if you'd like me to do a video of a full face of samples let me know because then maybe after all of these declutters that's something i could do sometime in january or something like that okay so we're gonna keep this i have two 
two of these Tom Ford samplers, and I think it's the same foundation, the Traceless Soft Matte. Is this the one that was like on super sale at Sephora for Black Friday, and then it sold out uh, almost instantly, at least all the shades that... I would have even been potentially curious about. Yeah, so both of these are the Traceless Soft Matte. Obviously, anything with the word matte and full coverage really scares me, but it's Tom Ford, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm curious. Of course, for me, the only potential shade here would be this 0.5 Porcelain, and I do have the two samples of it, so that's nice. So I think I will try those. Now, what to do with these others? Don't know. I always say that I'm happy if you're in the US, and want to try anything to, you know, just stick it in the envelope and mail it to you. So you can always email me or message me on Instagram if you're interested in that. Otherwise, I... I don't have a lot of makeup loving friends in my vicinity, so it's probably just gonna go in the trash otherwise. Okay, this LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation, available in 35 flexible shades, and it looks like none of these five of them would actually work for me. I don't see a single shade that is light enough, so yeah, unless somebody wants this, this is going to go into the trash. Tula Skincare. I like Tula Skincare, so I didn't even realize they have a skin tint and it has SPF 30 and this must be pretty new because some of these are really old and some of these must be fairly recent so I'm really curious now the only thing is I'm not sure if this night light neutral is going to be light enough for me I feel like it's still going to be too dark but because it's a skin tint I might give it a go and try this I'm really curious all right makeup forever water tone I have never tried any of the makeup forever foundations I know that they've been around and that they're very reliable foundation and so many people have used it and tried it the old one the new one the water tone this Y245 Y245 mm, I don't think that's gonna work I feel like I would have needed to be in this first row this is already looks like light and I am more of a fair so unfortunately I don't even know if it's worth me opening this I feel like that's gonna be too dark oh that's a bummer I would have actually enjoyed trying this I think I would have been curious. And I even like this like really nice matte packaging, the way it's presented. But yeah, I guess if somebody else wants to try this, let me know. We have the ABH Luminous Foundation. Okay, all right, my ears perked up. We, we know that Luminous is definitely something I'm curious about. It's a medium coverage foundation with a luminous natural finish. If this 120W works, which on paper, it could but in theory i have no idea then i'd be down to try it so i guess for now we'll keep it okay what is this rms beauty i love their blushes so i'd be down to try some other rms it's the re-evolve natural finish foundation long lasting medium coverage hydrates firms and softens skin well that sounds interesting zero zero looks like it's the second shade so i don't know if i would need zero 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 or just the double zero but I definitely would be happy to try the double zero in the picture it looks like it would work in the little plastic thing it looks like it's too dark what it's going to be in reality I won't know until I try it sunny days 14 shades natural finish this is the tower 28 um, broad spectrum SPF mineral tinted sunscreen oh all right I am really curious about this looks like I would be I'm guessing this very light shade or maybe Maybe this is without a tint and this has the actual t I don't know I would need to see how this works but yeah definitely should give this a try I should have tried this actually this summer but that's okay all right this I think is a very old one this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation is this something that's still even around this used to have SPF 15 that expired in 2020 I'm sure judging yeah that's i think what that says it's a medium coverage and natural finish helps prevents visible signs of aging no chemical sunscreen ingredients hydrates for 12 hours oh that's the primer oh i think i've used the primer before and really liked it actually but i never got a chance to try the foundation i think this is too old for me to try by now so this is going into the trash Ooh. 
Valentino. I feel like I got this recently. I don't even remember how and when I got this. Does this have an expiration date because of the SPF? I'm really hoping this is still valid. And it looks like we have the light shade, the one, which hopefully is light enough for me. Okay, I'm curious. I want to try this. This is a 24-hour breathable wear, transfer-resistant, buildable, mm, semi-matte. Okay, that's that's maybe not quite my thing but i'm still gonna give it a go i mean it's valentino come on what is this vanilla o2 oh this is the bare minerals complexion rescue which i feel like i still have yet to try i also feel like i've had this for a really long time but i should finally try this I, if i remember correctly this is the product that my friend kelly from keep beauty real always talks about and she goes through like she's gone through multiple of these this is kind of her go-to staple foundation so i'm really curious about it oh i've also always wanted to try this pat mcgrath foundation i've heard about this since it came out so it's been quite a few years oh but except bummer i'm not going to be able to try this because this is a light medium the eighth shade in the range and that's the only light one that they have and for me that's going to be way too dark so i'm going to have to pass this along to somebody else this is well boo Oh, well. Okay, and then we've got Bobbi Brown Perfect Skin Coverage Meets All Day Wear. I don't know if this is a super old one or if this is a newer one. I have no idea where I got this or how long I've had it for, but I do have a porcelain shade here. So let's see, what are the claims? We've got 16-hour formula that is sweat and humidity resistant, a matte coverage, a full yet natural coverage. So wait, is it matte? Is it full? Is it natural? what is it i don't understand it's moisture binding glycerin delivers refreshing hydration this has a lot of contradicting claims so i guess we'll keep it and maybe try it and if we don't try it and next declutter it's still hanging around we're gonna get rid of it i should probably give myself like deadlines for how long i have to try this stuff because frankly i'm just tired of having all of these little samples lying around so i didn't do that great i was kind of thinking this would be a breeze to just get rid of a bunch but we have three that need to be either thrown out or passed along to somebody immediately because none of the shades will work for me we have one that is going directly into the trash and we have a bunch of other ones that i will hopefully try and if not they will be decluttered next time now at least i have this on record and i will know when i did this and how long i have to use this up I think that's going to be it for my first declutter. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am trying to break this up into smaller bits. Some of these videos, I have a feeling, is still going to be really, really long. Some of my other categories where I have a lot more products. But I figured I'd start off a little easier on myself. Hopefully, that'll motivate me to keep going. And yeah, let me know if you guys do an annual declutter. If you're one of those people that just like declutters as you go throughout the year. Or if you like to sit down and do a big clean clean out. Let me know if you guys still enjoy declutter videos. I know they've been around on YouTube a lot and some people I think still like them and some people are kind of over them. I love a declutter. I love watching a declutter. It always motivates me to go through my products and pull things out. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season, enjoying Vlogmas from all of your favorite creators. I hope that you will consider subscribing to to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for being here and watching and supporting me and other than that i hope that you guys are doing really really well continuing to stay safe and healthy take care of yourselves and those around you and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye guys